Hello, I'm Dr. Mitchell Grayson, professor and chief of the Division of Allergy and Immunology at Nationwide Children's Hospital and The Ohio State University. I'm also a fellow of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology and a board-certified allergist. Today, I'd like to talk to you about vocal cord dysfunction. Vocal cord dysfunction, sometimes known as paradoxical vocal cord dysfunction, is also abbreviated VCD and is the term used when vocal cords inappropriately close during inspiration. You may not have thought about this, but normally when you breathe in and out, your vocal cords open, sort of like this. And they close in between breaths and when you're talking. It is actually, in fact, that movement of the vocal cords that make our voice. In some people, however, the vocal cords close inappropriately when they take a breath in, and they get the sensation of shortness of breath that really causes them to think that they might have an asthma attack. The sensation can often be confused with symptoms of asthma, and sometimes it even appears to get better when using asthma medications, although most of the time these medications do not really help. The good news about VCD is that it is not life-threatening, so once a person knows that their vocal cords are closing, they will eventually open back up when they relax. But it's important to note, however, that vocal cord dysfunction and asthma can coexist. So it is important to always treat an episode of shortness of breath as if it were asthma, unless you know for a fact that you do not have asthma. How is vocal cord dysfunction diagnosed? Well, usually there are signs on the breathing test your doctor will give you. This will often lead to using a small tube to look at the vocal cords and see if they are closing inappropriately. Some physicians will even have you perform maneuvers to try and bring on an attack, and then try and look at your vocal cords when you're having symptoms. These kind of maneuvers may be things like exercise or a methicoline challenge. Once vocal cord dysfunction is diagnosed, you'll be referred for treatment. In general, this involves working with a speech pathologist to perform vocal cord maneuvers that will open up your vocal cords, such as pretending that you're breathing through a straw, or making a sipping sound when breathing. This way, when you have an attack, you will be able to use these maneuvers to end the attack. Your local allergist is trained in diagnosing vocal cord dysfunction as well as determining the relative importance of allergies and asthma in causing your symptoms. She or he has the expertise and the know-how to make your symptoms much more less of a burden. So if you are suffering from shortness of breath or wheezing, I would encourage you to see an allergist today.